lot of things that I love about Thomas and Friends. One thing that I particularly loved was the realism. Not just with the sets, not just with the practical effects, but that all the characters, bar a select few, were based on real life engines, road vehicles, rolling stock and more. And it got me thinking, what were the classic era characters based on? Well, steamies and normies, we're about to find out. As I explore the real life basis of every classic era character of Thomas and Friends. For clarification, I am taking my sources from the Thomas Wiki Sodor Island fan site and the classic era is what I define as seasons 1 to 7 of Thomas and Friends. If there are any mistakes that I have made, please let me know in the comments below in a constructive and respectful way. Grab yourself a beverage of your choosing and something to eat as we dive in to this extremely long list. We'll start with the standard gauge steam engines, and what better place to start than our number one Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas is based on a London, Brighton and South Coast Railway, or LB and SCR for short, Class E2 060T. Thomas is one of the second batch of E2s built with extended side tanks. Edward, one of the oldest engines, Edward is based on a heavily modified, sharp, Stuart and Company larger Seagull K2 class steam engine. Henry. Following his rebuild at Crewe, Henry was based on a London, Midland and Scottish Railway, or LMS for short, Stanier 5MT Black 5460. Before his rebuild, Henry was a freelance design, combining aspects of the Black 5 shape and his original shape from the Railway series books. In his original railway series form, Henry was based on one of the early rejected designs for Sir Nigel Gresley's Great Northern Railway, or GNR for short, A1 Class 462, of which Gordon would later become the prototype. Speaking of which, we move on to our express engine Gordon. Like in the railway series, Gordon is an A1 Pacific for the Great Northern Railway, or GNR for short, built at Doncaster Works in Yorkshire. James our number 5 mixed traffic engine, James is based on a Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, or LNYR for short, Class 28. A class of 060 mixed traffic tender locomotives designed by George Hughes for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway and built by Horwich Works between 1909 and 1912. Percy. Percy is described as a hodgepodge. Having no definitive real life basis, Percy is an 040 saddle tank based on engines from the Avonside Engine Company. The 2013 Writer's Bible and the 2015 Trading Card suggest that Percy most closely resembles an Avonside SS Class Trojan 040 ST saddle tank engine of the Great Western Railway, or GWR for short. Toby. Our steam tram is based on a Great Eastern Railway, GER for short, Class C53, 06OT Wise Beck Steam Tram, reclassified as J70 by the London North Eastern Railway, or LNER for short. Duck. There's a reason why Duck says there are two ways of doing things, the Great Western Way or the wrong way. And that's because Duck is based on a Great Western Railway 5700 class 060 Panier tank engine. Donald and Douglas. These practical and peppy twins are based on the Caledonian Railway CR for short, Macintosh 812 Class 060 Goods Engines. Oliver, an engine with resource and sagacity. So it comes as no surprise that Oliver is based on the Great Western Railway 1400 042T engine. Bill and Ben, our lovable tank engine twins Bill and Ben are based on the Bagnall 04 OST saddle tank engines Alfred and Judy. City of Truro. City of Truro is based on the real life engine of the same name. City of Truro was built in 1903 for the Great Western Railway and is a GWR 3700-440 engine. He is also, allegedly, the first engine to go 100 miles an hour before the Flying Scotsman, although it was never officially documented. Stepney. Like City of Truro, Stepney is based on the real life engine of the same name. Stepney was built by Brighton Works in 1875 and rebuilt into an A1X in 1912. Lady. Lady is a freelance design created by the designers on Thomas and the Magic Railroad. One of Lady's concept art images depicts her as an A222, resembling Gazelle, 
a Dodman & Co. 04 2WT locomotive from the Shropshire and Montgomery Railway. Harvey. Harvey is based on a Dubs crane engine number 4101, nicknamed Dubsy, who was built in Glasgow, Scotland. Emily. Emily is based on the Great Northern Railway, or GNR for short, 1003 class Stirling single 422. Arthur. This larger scale tank engine is based on a London, Midland and Scottish Railway, or LMS for short, IVAT class 2MT tank engine. Murdoch. Our gentle giant Murdoch is based on a British Railways BR standard class 9F, with a BR 1G standard type tender for helping haul heavy goods trains. Spencer. Spencer is based on a London and North Eastern Railway, or LNER for short, Class A4 Pacific, a type of streamlined 462 tender engine designed by Sir Nigel Gresley and built between 1935 and 1938. He resembles the famous engine Mallard. And finally, Fergus. Fergus is based on the Aveling and Porter 220WT TJ Class Railway Traction Engine, number 9449, called the Blue Circle and was the last standard gauge traction engine to ever be built. Keeping with standard gauge, we move on to the diesel engines. And who better to start with than Devious Diesel. Diesel is based on the British Rail, BR for short, Class 08 Diesel Electric Shunter. Splatter and Dodge and Ari and Bert are also based on this class of engine. Daisy. Daisy is based on the British Rail, Metro Camel Class 101-102 DMU. She is, however, a single rail car instead of the traditional two to four piece unit, which means she would instead be based on the BR class 122. Boko. We all know that Boko is a Metropolitan Vickers diesel electric type two, but he's officially based on a BR class 28 Kobo diesel electric engine. Mavis. Mavis is based on a BR class 04 6 diesel locomotive more specifically based on the BR Class 04s that worked on the Wisebeck and Upwell tramway as they were fitted with additional cow catchers and side plates. Class 40. Class 40 is based on the BR Class 40 one co co one They were given the nickname Whistlers because of the strange whistling noise their engines would make. Derek. Also known as the Paxman Diesel, Derek is based on a BR Class 17, also known as the Clayton Type 1. Diesel 10. Diesel 10 is based on a BR Class 42 diesel hydraulic engine. And for your information, they don't have claws, by the way. This was a non-regulation hydraulic claw. And finally, Salty. The pride of the seven seas, Salty is based on the BR Class 07 diesel electric shunter. We step away from standard gauge and move on to the narrow gauge engines. And who better to start with than Scarlowey. Scarlowey is based on the Taliclin Railway's Taliclin a Fletcher Jennings class C0-4-2ST built in 1864. Renes. Renes is based on the Talacrim Railway's Dogok, a Fletcher Jennings class BB0-4-0WT. Smudger is also based on the same class of engine. Sir Handel. Sir Handel is based on the Talacrim Railway's Sir Hayden, a Hughes Falcon 0-4-2ST. Peter Sam. Peter Sam is based on the Talaclan Railway's Edward Thomas, a Kerr Stewart Tattoo Class 0-4-2ST. Duncan. Duncan is based on the Talaclan Railway's Douglas, an Andrew Barclay E or Light Class 0-4-0WT. Rusty. Rusty is based on the Talaclan Railway's Midlander, a Rustin 44-48HP diesel. And finally, Duke. Duke is based on the Festiniog Railway's Small England Class 0-4-OST plus T locomotive, known as Prince. Bertram, who was introduced in Season 5, is also based on the same type of locomotive. We now move into the rolling stock. Oh boy, this was a tough one. I hope I haven't made mistakes here, but I'm still not confident. We'll start with the troublesome trucks. There are several types of troublesome trucks that appear throughout Thomas and Friends. These include the seven dash plank open wagon trucks, which was the basis for SC Ruffy, also known as Scruffy, short wheelbase plank trucks, NBR diagram 43 tube wagons, slate trucks, mine trolleys, three plank trucks, Linton and Barnstaple Railway four wheel trucks, and tube trucks. 
The several types of vans that appeared throughout Thomas and Friends are LMS 12 ton vans, LNER 12 ton vans, Linton and Barn Staple Railway vans, LBSC Railway 8 ton vans, 8 wheeled utility vans, 4 wheeled utility vans, GWR ventilated vans, GWR cattle trucks, LNWR vans and salt vans. Only one type of tanker was used and this was the 14 ton pre-war tanker. The breakdown train. Breakdown trains are based on the Cowan's Sheldon 15 ton steam crane, the spiteful brake van. Based on the British Railways VR 20 ton brake van, which were built to the LNER 20 ton brake van design. And finally, Toad. Toad is based on the Great Western Railway, or GWR for short, 16 slash 25 ton brake van. We now move on to coaches, and we are better to start than Annie and Clarabelle. Thomas's faithful coaches are based on the LBSC Stroudley coaches built between 1870 and the late 1880s. Henrietta. Toby's coach Henrietta is based on the Great Eastern Railway, or GER for short, Wisebeck and Upwell Tramway four-wheel coach. And finally, Old Slow Coach. Old Slow Coach is based on a diagram E39 Falmouth Coupe Tri-Brake Coach, built in 1893 for the Great Western Railway. We leave the rails for a while and we go on to the road vehicles, starting with Bertie. Bertie is based on the post-war Leyland Motors Tiger Type PS-1 slash PS-2. Specifically, the single-decker half-cab front entrance buses built between 1946 and 1953. Terence the Tractor. Terence has no definitive known basis, but his design is typical of a crawler tractor which was produced between 1920 and 1940. Trevor the traction engine. Trevor is based on a William Foster & Co. 8-ton double crank compound, or DCC for short, general purpose traction engine, built in 1927, named Fiery Elias, that was owned by the Reverend Teddy Boston, Wilbert Audrey's friend. Bulgy. Bulgy is based on an AEC Regent 5 double-decker bus with an open rear platform. George. George is based on the Aveling Barford R-Class Steamroller, although the concept of George was inspired by the Aveling and Porter R-10 Steamroller, which was again owned by the Reverend Teddy Boston. Buster from Jack and the Sodor Construction Company is also based on this design. Caroline. Caroline is based on a 1926 Morris Oxford Blue Nose saloon car. Butch. Making his debut in Season 5, Butch is based on a hybrid of a Scammel Constructor and Scammel Pioneer. According to the official website, he was constructed out of parts from a diesel, lorry and crane. Speaking of, the horrid lorries. The horrid lorries appear to be based on Foden OG range lorries. According to their Erto character bios, the lorries are based on the famous Foden design. Lorry 1, 2 and 3 dates from the designs of the 1940s and 1950s. Thumper. Although Thumper was built by the Sodor Mining Company, he is not based on any known quarry machine. At any rate, a machine of his type would be extremely hazardous to those around due to the lack of a window at the front of the cab making the operator unable to see. Thumper's design appears to be a hodgepodge of various different machinery, and perhaps a freelance. In real life, a machine of Thumper's design would be very impractical. Elizabeth. Elizabeth is based on a Sentinel DG4 steam lorry with a three-way tipper behind their cab. Isabella from Jack and the Sodor Construction Company is also based on this design. Speaking of, Jack. Jack's basis is a enough field tractor an international 454 tractor, and Foden tractor with an added front loader and enclosed cab. Max and Monty. Max and Monty are based on the 1949 Scammell Mountaineer four-wheel drive dump trucks. Patrick. Patrick is based on a 1943 Mac NM3, albeit its compartment is changed into a concrete drum to make a cement mixer. These trucks and lorries were made for military use during the Second World War. Nelson. Nelson's front strongly resembles a Scammell 15LA ballast tractor, while his rear resembles a 1927 Scammell Pioneer tractor unit. Byron. Byron is based on a Caterpillar bulldozer from the late 1930s. Ned. Ned resembles a larger version of a Browning steam shovel built by the Browning Engineering Company. These were developed in Cleveland, Ohio in the USA during the early 20th century. Oliver from Jack and the Sodor Construction Company. Oliver's exact basis is unknown, 
and appears to be a freelance design. Kelly. Like Oliver, Kelly's basis is unknown and appears to be of freelance design. He loosely resembles a 1943 Thornycroft Amazon Coles crane lorry. He also loosely resembles a 1942 Austin K6 lorry built with a mobile crane body. And finally, Alfie. Alfie is based on a freelance design and does not appear to represent any typical prototype, although he does resemble a 1960 K1C10 and K excavator. We leave the ground and take off into the skies with Harold the helicopter. Harold is based on the Westland Whirlwind helicopter with added pontoons. These helicopters were built as license built versions of the Sikorsky S-55 helicopter, also known as the Sikorsky H-19 Chickasaw, which originated in the United States of America. Tiger Moth. According to an interview with Robert Gold Galliers by the Sodor Island Forum, Tiger Moth is actually a Newport 17 biplane. We now move on to the cranes, and there's no bigger crane than Big Mickey. Big Mickey is based on a USN 20T tower crane. The most famous crane engine of the franchise, Cranky the Crane Engine, according to an interview with Robert Gold Galliers, is based on photographic references of various cranes from the 1920s to the 1950s. According to the 2013 Writer's Bible and 2015 trading card, Cranky is a hybrid design based on various tower cranes that were mainly manufactured by the Stothert and Pitt Company of Bath, England. And finally, we end with a barge. And everyone in the fandom knows which barge I am talking about, Bullstrode. Bullstrode is based on a 1920s self-propelled coastal barge. And that is it, my steamies. That is every real life basis of the classic era characters from Thomas and Friends. Big thank you to the Thomas Wiki and Sodor Island Forum because without you, I would not have the information to do this video. Thank you all for watching and until next time, keep on chugging.